Weights used by pharmacists are important. They must be of good quality and need to be cared for in order to ensure accurate measurements. The metric apothecary and abortopore systems are the three most common systems used in compounding. Each differ in basic units and symbols. We will be focusing on the metric and apothecary systems in this video. Metric and apothecary weights are packaged as a set in a sturdy compartmentalized box. Newer sets consist only of metric weights as there is a decreased need for apothecary weights in modern practice. Metric weights, however, are easier to use than apothecary weights. It is best to become familiarized with both weight systems, so we will be providing an overview of both. Throughout pharmacy school, you will be using this specific metric weight set. However, for completion purposes, we will be using this weight set, which contains both apothecary and metric weight systems. Metric weights used exclusively for analytical purposes may come in a range of 1 mg to 100 grams. This weight set comes in a range of 1 mg to 50 grams. Weights that weigh more than one gram are made of either finely liqueured brass, rhodium-plated bronze, or in our case, non-magnetic stainless steel. The smaller square-shaped milligram weights are made of platinum or aluminum foil with one edge folded up, allowing for easier handling with forceps. Smaller weights are more easily lost and with continual handling may corrode and give inaccurate measurements as a result it is more convenient to use the graduated beam which comes as a calibrated dial or a rider to measure smaller quantities of fractions of a milligram. Instructions for proper handling of weights will be discussed later on in this video. Apothecary weights may come as block weights, flat weights, or wire weights. Currently, there is a decreased need for the apothecary system in modern practice. However, in the past, the apothecary system was commonly used for prescribing and dispensing. Apothecary systems with round, flat, brass drams that are still in place in pharmacies should be replaced since the denominations stamped on its surface are prone to corrosion. In contrast, aluminum wire weights do not have this problem and are considered the best grain weights. Another advantage of wire weights is that they are shaped differently from your typical cylindrical weights and are therefore easily distinguished from other weight forms and prevents mix-ups. In addition, the weights in grain is identified by the number of sides the wire has. For example, this aluminum wire represents five grains because there are five sides to the wire. Likewise, this would represent one grain and the bent wire on the far right represents a half grain. Flat aluminum grain weights are also less corrosive. They are cut out of aluminum plates, their corners are clipped, and then pressed into a curve, allowing for easier handling with forceps. We will now go over instructions for proper handling of weights. When handling weights, it is important to always use forceps. Never handle weights with your bare hands or dirty gloves to prevent the accumulation of body oils, chemicals, and debris which may compromise the true measurement. Forceps included in more expensive sets of weights are tipped with bone, ivory, or plastic to prevent weights from wearing away with handling. When the weight set is not being used, it should be stored in its original packaging in order to prevent accumulation of foreign matter and corrosion to the surface of the weights, which may affect weighing accuracy. Weights can be maintained for years if cared for appropriately.